second one I tried, which is something tawny. This is that strapless silk dress from Reformation that I mentioned is really versatile. These are the top rated concealers I could find on Sephora right now that I really wanted to try. Hi, thanks for joining me for another vlog. As you can see, we went for a little drive this morning and then I made some breakfast. So that was yogurt, apples. I love that combination. So I just chopped up some apples. I put on some granola that we made again. And then I added some cacao powder this time with all the other seasonings I put in like cinnamon and um, turmeric and then I put on some blueberries that was lunch and then I just did a video yeah if you're interested in this look it's my favorites video that I just filmed and it was a really interesting combination of products for my base so make sure to tune if you want to see that but of course unboxings are part of this whole thing and this reminded me when I saw my parents I forgot I had ordered some things for my mom and then I knew I was gonna see her so I ordered a couple of things for me as well so I picked up another Le Camouflage Stilo and this is in 4C so you know I love this one and I've been using it for travel mostly because it's so easy well actually I've been using it every day but I I think it's one of the easiest things to travel with. So this is in 4C and I just used it in this part of my eye, even without a regular concealer because I didn't bring the Chanel concealer, even though I love it so much. It just is like, it's so much um, that I just brought that little one. And then I purchased another one of these. Hold on, it's very like, loud. Buff and Blur Brush by Chantecai. So this is my third one. That's how much I love this product. It's really soft. It works really well with the Buff and Blur powder. No, the Perfect Blur powder. It works really well with that. So I picked those up. I also purchased this from Jenny Kane. And I think I may have, did I post? No, I didn't post about it, but it's, this is the shape I love. So I saw a Neely Lotan sweater go by. And actually in Napa, there's a it's in St. Helene, actually. There's a store called Elise Walker, and I've heard that name before, but I didn't realize they carried a lot of different brands like Valentino and Neela Lotan, Kate, like all of the brands that I think are interesting, uh, they are carried there. You know, they had some Loewe bags, so it was fun to see those as um, puzzle bags. They had this cutest Bottega bag. It looked like denim, but it was suede. And I think it was the last one left. I didn't pick it up, but I was very tempted to. Actually, I think my husband would have been okay with me getting it, but I thought that's too much for a bag that I didn't think was a classic, although I would have it's worn okay, it. okay, honey, you can get it. Oh, he's listening. You want to come and say hi? I'm busy. Can I get it? It was $4,800. Can I get it? Sorry, I can't hear you. <laughs> I think it was a lot for that kind of a bag. So I did not get it. But he picked up a something Hermes there. Are you still listening to me? He's gone now. He picked up something Hermes. Actually, I'm going to show it to you when it arrives. It's pretty cool. Um, but I got this. I saw the Neely Lotan, or was it Kate? Maybe it was the Kate sweater. It was either Neely Lotan or Kate. It was a cream colored sweater and it was like a polo oh was there's more like a sailor i can't recall i think it was like a, a more like a sailor because it was longer in the back like a square shape but i picked this up from jenny king the one i saw that was 100 percent cashmere this is cashmere as well was heavy like really heavy our winters don't get that cold i feel like if we were in a place where it was very 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 cold in the winters then i would get it but it just seemed like something i wouldn't wear as much as I would want to. Beautiful sweater though. So I picked this up from Jenny Kane. It's also cashmere and it's a polo. So it has this collar on it, which I love. So I have one by um, a Lily Silk. Yeah, that one's more of a camel tone, but this one is cream. So I will try this on for you and show it to you and let you know what I think. But I liked that the arms are not cuffed so tightly. They kind of are loose. Oh, I need to show you this because I picked up this dramatic no i didn't pick it up what am i talking about i was sent this and it's open and already being used because that's how excited i was about this it's by Cell. it's a dramatic brightening potion and i'll get it for you in a moment but it's i got this letter usually it's like a card but it's a letter so what i liked about this it says it's a 
dermatologist grade treatment to combat what can seem like a never ending battle of keeping hyperpigmentation at bay. I know so many of you also deal with this. I am overwhelmingly pleased with the results. They have a proprietary, proprietary, hello, proprietary complex, Illuminae 7. It brings together seven ingredients that reduce the appearance of existing hyperpigmentation while inhibiting the creation of future dark spots. So that was right up my alley. So I quickly opened that and started using it. Illuminae achieves this through combining tried and true traditional naturals like resveratrol with high-tech but clean biotechy triosinase inhibitors. Triosinase is the precursor to hyperpigmentation, which I did not know. It's a lightweight, luxurious formula. It is, it's very lightweight and it layers well with any existing skincare regimen, which I've noticed. So I paired that with my existing skincare routine and it's working quite well. And I love that it has an applicator comes in one of those containers where you push and then it just deposits the correct amount out so it keeps the product away from the air until you're ready to use it so it's not exposed to air so i'm testing that out now i'll let you know what the results are like so thank you sir self for sending that over that is exactly the kind of product i want to test out and see if it works and share with you how well it works then i received this from jones road beauty so this is Bobbi Brown's company, and she's really trying to produce products that are different than what's already existing out there. Clean, cool makeup, but it's lip products. So we've got here lip pencils. Let me see what the colors are. So we've got the four here. Chocolate or chocolate, which I'm thinking is, oh, they're all here. So there are several shades. They have eight, so I was sent four of them, and that's half. So we've got a chocolate color. Ooh. That's brown for sure. That's not normally the color I would wear, but I like the idea of that. I actually could do that with my Dior. It's not my exact style, but we can always try. This is in Tawny Nude. Oh, that might be my shade right there. Tawny Nude. I love playing with makeup. This shade is Cognac. Oh, so thank you Jones Road for sending these over. I will definitely play with these, which is like a more burgundy type shade. Rosewood, ooh, Rosewood usually is a good shade match for me. Make the classic 90s lip more wearable. Our newest lip product feature shades that will match your natural lip tone delivers a modern matte finish. This second one I tried, which is something tawny. I already have a lip product on, but I just wanna, I don't know if you know if you can see it, but I'll try this on. In another video actually let me um go get that Cercel product and turn the lights on maybe that'll help hold on okay just turn the lights on a little bit oh and i have this nice sun hitting me <laughs> this angle oh i brought this Cercel. so this is the product the lucent and it has this sorry it's kind of messy because i've been using it but it just you push this and then it deposits the product there i'm not going to push that all the way because i don't want to waste any of the product but you can see there how it comes out so i love the dispenser on that let's go ahead with this we're going to try it because i just took off my lipstick i want to try this tawny nude here let's try it yeah that's a great color i still have to try the balm product she has which i still don't understand but i can see it working for um a blush if you hear any scratching, that's my husband. I think he's prepping the wall on the other side because we had some water damage from all the rain, um, that like, once in a lifetime rain that we had. That's pretty though. Okay, let's keep going because there's so many other things to unbox here. So this arrived. This is from, oh, True Botanicals. And I just talked about them in the favorites. This is a one step to glass skin. Oh, at home facialist peel. You know, I do love to do these things at home. I don't typically go to a facialist or anything like that. So thank you so much to True Botanicals for sending this over because I am really enjoying the products that they did send over. The serum and the oil and the cleansing balm, an acidic blend, an electrolyte mineral blend, and an aloe leaf juice in it. It says to leave on the skin for 15 minutes and then rinse thoroughly. Oh, I'm gonna try this tonight. It says it pairs perfectly with their Pro Precision brush, which I don't have. Looks like this on the skin. Let's see what it looks like. So I'll try this tonight and let you know what I think. Ooh, it smells very like spa-like again. Lovely though. It's one of those exciting things I'm gonna try tonight. This is from Bloom Effects. Oh, Bloom Effects, the Royal Cleansing Jelly. Oh, I love cleansing things. It's a makeup melting jelly to milky cleanser. So thank you so much to Bloom Effects for sending this over. Been enjoying their SPF. The cleansing gel looks like this and let's see see what the texture is like. I don't have anything to clean my hands with. Oh yeah, it's like a clear gel here. 
that's a melting product so I'm gonna try this out as well right after this we'll try this and then oh I received this I'm gonna have to find the other products because I took them with me to Napa because I was so excited about them um, but this is the flight oh focus hi this is by flight oh my gosh there we go so this is by flight 70 I'm not gonna try and move around because it's having trouble focusing. We are excited to introduce our new brand. Oh, it's a new brand. They sent over a lip liner, a lipstick, and then I'll try to wear some of these new things in a video um, so I can put them together for you because there are so many new products that I test out but I don't feature all of them in a sit down video but I still wanna make sure you have a chance to see them. But this is a pressed bronzer. This is in the shade Vacation, oh, I like that. It says color back burnished bronze. Oh wow, interesting, look at that. It's got like a, like a blush, like a, I need to read about this thing. I love this tone though. And then it's got this color running through it. Let me show you up close. So that's what it looks like up close. How interesting is that? We're gonna have to give that a try. So Flight 70, uh, it's a new way to age it says. Makeup that works in sync with your evolving skin, which yes, my skin is, very much evolving. Silky multi-hued bronzer creates a believable sun-kissed radiance. You can dust it over the entire face or brush along key areas to reboot a tired complexion. Oh, softly contour the brush or brush the bronze and peach shades along your eyelid and crease. Oh, it looks like it can work everywhere. So it looks like a one and done kind of product. It has moisturizing properties of plant-based squalene, a blend of natural tri triglycerides to help prevent water loss. It leaves the skin looking fresh and radiant. Oh, lovely. All right, and then this chiseled lip refill. Oh, okay, so they sent a, like a lip liner and then there's a lip stick product. What color is this? Situation. Okay, because they sent one and it, I brought it with me. It was a little bit lighter, too light for me. So I'm gonna try this one on as well. We have so many lip products to try. Oh, that's really pretty. So it looks like that. So I like their idea where if they're catering to those of us who are not 20 anymore. So thank you so much to Flight to 70 for this. I'm gonna give those products a good try for you. Uh, and then we've got something here by Elemis and I love their cleansing balm. It's one of my favorite things from them. And this is the Pro Collagen Green Fig Cleansing Balm. It's the same award winning three in one texture. New, fresh and evocative Pro Collagen Green Fig. It's aromatic. So it hydrates as a milk, cleanses as an oil, and nourishes as a balm. Ooh, lovely. I love their cleansing balms, really nice. So thank you so much to Elemis for sending this over. These are some of the things I use all the way up. Let's try and just cleanse off all of these things. Oh, nice. I mean, it does a really nice job. You could see all that lip liner I had, now it's gone. One more thing to take out here, L'Occitane. Oh, by the way, yes, I do have their hand cream right here. Oh, I wanted to show you this, I forgot. Because I told her I would show because I thought it was so cute. So I've got the L'Occitane hand cream here, which I have been loving. I forgot to put it in the favorites, but it is really great for, like, look how balmy that is. It's really great for dry hands. Like, I'm always applying lotion. I don't know why this made me think of it, but we came up with while I applied this. Uh, I have this recipe I found. Oh, it's because we had it at Acacia House in Napa. And it's called Chickpea Panisse. And we asked how it was made. You may already know about this, but it's a French snack. It is like a chickpea cake, almost not a cake, but you add the flour and a little bit of salt to water, hot water, and then you mix it until it gets kind of glossy like a cake batter. You put it into a pan and then wait for it to set and then you slice it and then you fry it. It's so good. It's like a creamy custardy interior and then like a crunchy outside. Why was I talking about that? I think because I'm hungry, but I'm gonna make it. I don't know how I got off track. What was I talking, I was talking about this. This is so cute. I meant to mention this when we went to Kauai. It's sitting right here, so I thought I would mention it now. This was a hand, this is not hand painted. This is the artwork of an artist in Kauai. And I just thought it was so pretty. She said you could use it as a tea towel. You can use it as a hair towel to dry your hair and I think they're so beautiful. She has other designs as well. I list her on Instagram, but I wanted to point out if you wanted something botanical, she also does them framed. That would be really lovely to have a series of her paintings framed because they're so beautiful. But I did want to show that to you because I have had it sitting here, been meaning to talk about since we went to Kauai and I really want to use it for my hair, but I think it's just 
too beautiful for that so i'm not quite sure but we gave one as a gift to a friend lovely gifts if you have someone who's a lover of botanical paintings. I think these are really stunning. So back to this L'Occitane. They are a certified B corporation. They meet the high standards for social and environmental impact to be a force of good in the world. Oh, nice. It says meeting the high standards of social and environmental impact to be a force of good for the world. So we've got this here. So we've got the almond oil shower oil right here and then this is a refill sustainably sourced almonds are used in this and then also we've got this 100 percent recycled uh, plastic and then this is the refill for this so i just want to show that to you if you are someone who loves this product or if you want to try it so thank you so much to l'oxytom for sending this over but what we're going to do now oh before we cook I ordered something. So you might know that I love data. It motivates me when it comes to exercising and things like that and eating well. I'm always measuring the results of that. So I'm motivated by that in life in general. I'm motivated by data. I wanna see that I, whatever I'm doing is having an impact on that. So there's a fashion, I think it's fashion mostly, Instagram that focuses on data. And they mentioned that there was an uptick in this product being sold or looked at online and I just put in my mind that I have also been looking at this product or item for as long as I can remember like beyond 10 years and I forgot to put it on my uh shop my where I put things that I'm thinking about on there so I just added it because I ordered it and one of the reasons I ordered it is because every fall I want to have this item and I let it go i don't get it i don't know why i've been passing out but it is a classic so i go after items that are iconic to a specific brand so chanel they're classic double flap medium black caviar leather with gold hardware that is my iconic chanel product which i was able to get for hermes it's a scarf so i have a scarf and also one of their bags and i don't know if i'll ever get the kelly that is the one that i would like Although someone was talking to me like a battered up Kelly and I saw it and it looked really nice in box leather. So that's another thing that's on my radar now. And then for this other brand, and you'll see it when it comes in, but I wanna know if you can guess what it is because I've talked about it before, but it is such a classic timeless piece and I ordered it. So that will be later in this video when it arrives, I'll show it to you, I'll style it up, let you know um, if I, I'm going to keep it or not but I, I'm pretty sure I am but it's one of those things that I have always wanted and I thought this fall I'm gonna get it and this Instagram account also noted there was an uptick of interest and I think purchases in it and when I looked on the sites the various sites that carry it I noticed there was one left on one site there were two left on one site there were none left on another site it's not a new item at all it's a very very classic piece iconic to that brand. Let me know if you can figure out what that is, but that is in the mail on the way to me. So I'm very excited for that, but we are going to go cook now. Then we're going to unbox that when it comes in. We're also trying a bunch of this makeup that I have here that has been kindly sent. And then I'll give you an update on these items. Like I said, I'm going to use this right now and this right now and let you know how they work. So I'm so excited because now I get to clean up all of the boxes. This really only takes a few ingredients. So we've got the chickpea flour here like this and some salt and then also we've got water boiling so we've got here the water boiling and i'm just gonna add the two together as soon as this is boiling and then we just add the chickpea flour and salt to the water then i'm going to whisk it in and then you do this until most of the lumps are out and then it's like a glossy like a cake batter looking kind of consistency I've got a well greased um, with olive oil pan here. I'm just gonna pour that in. And then we're gonna let it cool. So you can see how they're custard-like. So I've cut them into kind of, um, I guess like rectangle, rectangular prisms. And I'm gonna go ahead and fry them in the Dutch oven with some olive oil. Here they are just out of the Dutch oven there where I fried them. You can see they're crispy on the outside but then there's like a custard-like texture on the inside. They're really good.
Good morning. As you can see, I have on some makeup, but not everything yet because I'm going to open some things that I want to apply right now and just try them and we'll do a more in-depth video, but I'm excited to open these things. And there's one item here that I've been really, really wanting to open because I'm so curious about this formula and we had a chance to meet with the creator of the formula or actually the entire line. So I'll tell you about that. But the first thing is by request from you, by the way, the uh, chickpea panisse. If you have a better way to do this, especially those of you who may be living in France who know how to make this a lot better than I can. If you have any tips for me, let me know, but they are really, really tasty and I have to actually stop myself from making them every day. And my husband, he's still working on the house, so I think he's maybe spraying primer at this point. I'm not quite sure, but there's if you hear those noises, that's what that is. First one here is from Sephora, and I actually picked this up because of requests. And as you know, I love concealer, and I thought I stick to the same concealers all the time, but also it's nice to see what else is out there and try some of the top rated concealers. So I went on the Sephora site, and these were some of the ones that were mentioned in the comments as well. And I looked at their top six or so concealers and some of them are newer some are things that i've been wanting to try but actually a lot of them are newer so the first one which you probably are very interested in is the gucci concealer this is the multi-use longwear concealer buildable buildable coverage now each of these has a different finish a different level of coverage I have dark spots here, so that's gonna be my main concern. And I do have, as you know, concealers for my dark spots and under the eye that I love, the Chanel for under the eye, and then also um, Clay de Peau is my go-to for this one. I am looking for a replacement for the La Prairie concealer. Uh, so we're gonna kind of be looking at a few different things. What's good under the eye, what's good for dark spots, and an item that might be able to match the La Prairie performance and appearance because, as you know, it has been discontinued. So, starting with this, one of my trickiest things here, especially purchasing online, was color match. So, I was looking for things in that peachy area and nothing too olivey or um, too warm because those don't work for me either, and also not pink because that'll end up looking kind of gray on me. So it's a very specific range. And then this one, I thought, okay, this is called 36N. This is one of the ones that has one of the most wide ranges. Actually, they all have quite a wide range, which makes it more difficult um, because it's very precise. Like the range within an actual shade is not very wide, but they have a wide shade offering. So when it gets really narrow like that in terms of shade, it's a little bit more difficult. So this one actually looks pretty spot on to what I had in mind. So this is a Gucci in 36 and okay, I don't wanna get this dirty, but this is, um, by the way, if you're interested in this top, it's the one I purchased last year. It goes with the like track pants or sweat. I mean, I don't wanna call it sweats because it's uh, cashmere and silk. It's by Olivia Von Hale and it was an investment purchase for sure, but you can also wash this by hand. So it doesn't have to go to the dry cleaner, which I appreciate. So I did that. I washed it by hand. I just laid it dry to flat and it looks good as new. Okay, so this is the Gucci. We're gonna try one of these out here too in a little bit here. So the Gucci looks, that looks spot on in terms of what I'm looking for in terms of a color match. Then we have this one. Let's see, I'm just gonna pull, I think I got six. So this is by House Labs. I've never purchased anything from this brand. Uh, it's the Lady Gaga brand, and I picked it up in 22 light medium peach, which, you know, when it says peach, but then it looks more pink than peach. So this is the Gucci one, which I think is going to be the best match. Just looking at it, I just know what works for me, and then this one looks pinkier. So let's swatch that. Oh yeah, it's definitely like, that reminds me of the La Prairie shade, actually. Okay, then I picked up Tower 20. You know I love the Tower 20 at Mascara. I think they do such an amazing job. So I thought I'd pick this one up, Swipe, the Serum Concealer, and just based on the fact that it's a serum, it's a weightless serum, um, has power to cover dark circles, hyperpigmentation, and redness, but it also says serum, so it makes me think it's more lightweight. So we're gonna see about that. I have a spreadsheet going, because when I look them up, I notice they have different finishes, like I said, different purposes almost. Okay, so that's quite warm for what I would normally select because warm on my warm skin tone as concealer doesn't necessarily work all the time. That's the Tower 28. Yeah, you can see 
already the differences there. Natasha Denona, High Glam Concealer. Some of these are brands I've never really explored. This is in P5. I think it had something to do with peach. Oh, this reminds me of the, um, the Hourglass Concealer. Not totally. The packaging reminds me, though, of the dimensions of it. This one also looks quite warm, but also with a peachiness to it. That's Natasha Denona. So we got this one. It's the Luminous Matte, and I love a Luminous Matte finish, and it's in Graham Cracker. This is one of the hardest ones to try to pinpoint, 4.1. It's a very large doe foot applicator. Okay, so that's more like a between a peach and a pink. Let's see, this one right here. So that might have promise. I don't know. That one has more peach. It's going to be interesting. Um, but you can see how much concealer makes a difference on me when I don't put concealer. Oh, I have on uh, SPF, the Dr. Brandt. It's a brightening mineral SPF, which is one I've been using quite a bit. Uh, and then we've got here, oh, I just opened it, sorry, without talking to you about it. This is by Valentino, and I love their blush. This one, okay, this one was one of the most difficult because I didn't see anything with a peach undertone per se. And this shade is, oh, it's in this nice, cute little. I like the uh, concealers that are not round because they will roll off the countertop. If your floors are uneven, you probably notice that happening, like ours. Okay, so this is the Valentino, and that is a little bit, that's not bright enough for me. So, I don't know. It's almost the color of this. Actually, here they are. So Gucci, Tower 28, the um, House Labs, you've got the Faux Filter Concealer, the Natasha Denona, and then we've got here the Valentino. So you can see, even though I tried my very best to look up swatches and you can see how very different they are. But I think I'm gonna try the Gucci because I'm most excited about that because of the color match, yeah. So here are the swatches as well. Six of the top rated concealers right now. Oh, that's not the only thing I purchased. I bought another one of these. I rarely hit pan on anything anymore. Um, skincare, yes, I'll go empty on those, but makeup, no. So this tells you how much I love this. And I have been trying out, oh, this is not it. What? It says 09. That doesn't look like 09. Let me get my 09. Hold on. That doesn't look right. Maybe that is right. <laughs> okay, this is 09, but look, this is 09. Do you see why I thought it was different? It looks much lighter, like, it doesn't have much color. Quite oh, close to brush. It doesn't look like it has much color at all compared to my current 09, but maybe it's because, I don't know. Let's, we're gonna see. But I looked on the back, they both say nine. I thought maybe I was saying the wrong shade this whole time, but no. Okay, so let's see if it's really the same shade. My sister actually ordered this as well when she was in town because I tried it on her and she thought it was so nice. So she also ordered this. She did same day delivery as well. If it's in your area, I didn't know how it worked. I actually ended up ordering it for her. Oh, the reason I opened this is because it has a mirror. Um, the reason why I ordered it, ordered it from her was because uh, she doesn't have a Sephora account like I do, so I said I'll just order it for you. And I'm just dotting this under there. Is this for under eye? Um, we'll just try this. Uh, and she was leaving to go back home, so I said, is it gonna be able to get there in time? She said, it says they have same day delivery. So I guess it depends on your area. So I was able to order it for her and then it was delivered like within a few hours. If you have a makeup emergency and you need makeup right away and you can't go get it and that service is available via Sephora, it, was, uh, it worked really well. Never tried it before. I know that they offered that service in some areas, but I'd never seen it in action. So you could even track where it was, like how, when it was gonna arrive. Uh, this is not sponsored post by Sephora. I just was really pleased with that service. So then we were able to get her that blush before she flew out of town. I'm gonna try it in the corners here. So far, it looks like the right shade match, doesn't it? And I like that it's a really thin layer. Oh, speaking of thin layer, thin layers, and my sister, I don't know if it will have gone up yet. I think it will have gone up. 
So she reminded me of the power of the um, Chantecaille Future Skin Cushion. And I remembered what great coverage it had for such a thin layer. So then I started experimenting with it as a concealer and it really has some great staying power. So I might include that in the roundup of this just so we can compare because right now in my mind, that is when I'm trying to compare these two because it's more of this uh, consistency versus uh, Clay de Peau, which is more of a creamy stick concealer. The Future Skin Foundation consistency reminds me more of something like a concealer like this. So this is laying really nicely, nice and close to the skin. I do want to use a brush at some point, but I don't have one right now. So this is just kind of for fun right now because I am very impatient when it comes to testing out makeup. Like that's pretty good. Let's build it up a little more. Thinking about how to do this video and actually um, Morgan from Morgan Turner Makeup was funny. Once I purchased all of these, I saw her video go up where I think she actually compares if not the same, very close to the lineup that I picked up. So I have not watched her video yet because as you know, I do not like to see other people's videos, especially on the same topic because I don't wanna be influenced by their opinions. But I'll list hers below because she does such a good job. So if you like fun and dramatic eye looks, she's really good at those too. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let me look in the mirror mirror and then, um, We'll finish up together, hold on. Okay, I noticed that it takes a little bit to build up that concealer, but what's nice about that is it's not changing color. As you know, sometimes, I have my fan here. It gets a little hot sometimes. Oh, this is one I picked up in Florence. Isn't that beautiful? It's uh, the paper that they make there, and then it's a paper fan. Yeah, you wanna keep water away from this, but it's uh, really beautiful. Okay, so. What was I saying? Oh, it takes a moment to build up the Gucci concealer, but what's great about what I noticed about building it up is that it doesn't alter the color. Sometimes if I add concealer layers, it can change the color and look kind of green or um, gray almost, but because it's a peachy tone, it didn't do that. So it's really beautiful. Um, I'm gonna go in with this Jones Road powder. I have so many products that I, use them and then I love them and then something else comes along that I want to try. So some things get put to the side but I still stand by the fact that this is a great powder especially for more oily skin types. Oh I want to try her, I think it's a complexion stick which might do the job of uh, spot concealing really well because it's a drier consistency which I need like this more fluid texture is a little tricky for me when it comes to dark spots. I find that the more dense, like the less liquidy uh, concealer is, the better it is for my dark spots. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in and do a quick powder here. Yeah, for oily skin types, this is a nice one, and this is the, what do they call this? It has a peachy tone to it. It's in um, Light Clar, which works really well for me. We're gonna talk about Bobbi Brown here in a little bit because this is her company. Should I call it Bobbi Brown? If I did, it's Jones Road Beauty. This is her current line. Yeah, this is the line she launched, gosh, what, three years ago? And I've since learned a little bit more about Bobbi Brown, who if you grew up in the 90s, you are very familiar with her because she was um, makeup artist, all those supermodels. Yeah, even though the lighting here, I have another light here, it's actually kind of hard for me to see with this light. I think that looks okay, that looks good. Okay, so quick dusting there, and then, um, Let's go in with the blush. I'm gonna use my old blush though because I wanna take a picture of the new blush. So we can use this all up because I don't like to waste. I'm gonna put a little blush on. I mean, the Gucci concealer is just really nicely against the skin. I have combo skin type, so the center of my face where I'm applying concealer is more oily and definitely needs to withstand that throughout the day. So. We'll test this out. We'll do a little, I guess, a wear test on this one today, but I will certainly do a roundup, but I'd like to do pretty in-depth wear tests before I come up with some kind of mm, educated summary of everything. 
I did order one more thing, the Pharmacy Brighten Up, so a dark spot toner. So my dark spots have been getting so much better. I'm using some new products that were, I think they were sent to me. This is a clinically tested brightening toner that targets dark spots and uneven skin tone with 3% TXA, tranexamic acid, um, azelaic acid, and 5% PHA. It's an alcohol-free formula. It says it gently resurfaces dull looking skin to boost radiance. It looks like this, ooh like a glass bottle if you're wondering too because i just cut my eyelashes there i have faux seal longest lash mascara by chantikai on as well as for the eye if you're wondering i went in with this and yes my tip for you because i think i said it in another video if you really like this product the by chanel and you're experiencing issues with it dropping i did this before i did my face makeup so if anything falls you can remove it it's worth it if you have hooded lids especially and you get transfer from what I understand from other people who are leaving comments is that this does not transfer on you so it's kind of a compromise I don't have the issue with 404 as much um, but 414 is a little bit more difficult to remove the excess I don't know why based on the shade so maybe you know it's the same thing but 404 doesn't seem to drop as much um, if you forget to remove the excess this one's kind of fun I was kindly invited to participate in a zoom call or web one of those kinds of video calls with a founder of a makeup company actually they do skincare as well and she is legendary so of course I wanted to participate and they've kindly sent me so many of their items already including their powder which I just talked about oh I also have on their eyebrow gel so I have on the clear brow gel so they sent over two of these for me the clear and the one that has a color to it they have sent this over and this is the uh, uh, conference call video call we were on it was about this product here so cool clean makeup I did not know this but Bobby Brown is 66 years old so that means she started this company when she was 63 so what an inspiration for those of us who are not 20 anymore so I'm 51 and you start to think like okay so at this age I would not dream of starting a company but you know she started a company at 63 and is still pursuing new things is really exciting really inspiring so i very much admire that about her and she really wanted feedback from us i'm going to say there were about i don't know 25 people on there about what we wanted to see next what we thought good ideas were and she even invited us to come visit the lab which i would love to do i don't know if i'll ever make it out there but but i would definitely love to do something like that i think it's so interesting um but we've got the new miracle bomb and happy hour and i have never tried the miracle bomb none of the miracle bombs i've heard about them i've looked at them i look at them probably every week and wonder which one should i get if i'm gonna get one i've been waiting to open this with you so this is the new shade happy hour pink toned highlighter it's a cool sheer pink with silver shimmer that can be used as blush on fair to light skin tones or as a highlighter on fair to medium skin so these are all of the shades let me know which ones you love also i learned she was a wellness coach is that right let me just google that to make sure oh yeah it says she's a certified health coach so this is the balm and what i've been waiting for is you have to break the sealer so I see all those commercials on YouTube. So I thought we would do that together so I can see if it actually feels like what it looks like when they have the commercials. Okay, let me just show you. I need to do my nails. Okay, it does feel exactly how you think it would <laughs> based on those commercials. It's gonna activate. Okay, so I'm just gonna dab that on. I love the feeling. It feels like a balm for sure. Okay, it just feels really fresh. And healthy and one of those um gosh i wrote down some of the things she said because it was so intelligent now i can't remember what they were now i definitely have to try out her other products before we open this i want to try out some of her lip products i feel like i did this already once but i don't remember so let's go in with rosewood it's got a little bit more brown than other rosewoods i've tried it's a little like deeper than a typical rosewood that I've tried. This is tawny. It's gonna be more difficult to do this since it's lighter on top. This is a callback to the 90s for me though. This color. Thank you so much to Jones Road Beauty for sending the items. This company won an award. The Royal Tulip Petal Polish. It won the Allure Best of Beauty Awards. Much larger than I thought. 
I thought it was gonna be like a smaller container. Beautiful though, I love their packaging. Comes with a wooden scooper. Do you know tulips have the unique ability to continue growing after they are cut? Regenerating due to compounds oxen and kenitin. Kenitin? Tulips hold their entire body weight in water, making them a natural humectant. So you can use it as a foaming facial cleanser, a scalp treatment, or a body scrub. Oh, oh. So it exfoliates and brightens skin. 14% AHA complex. Glycolic acid, malic acid, and citric acid. Pomegranate enzyme. It cleans and detoxifies. It also brightens dull skin. It's got vitamin C. Strengthens the skin's barrier. Prebiotic yogurt blend. I'm definitely more concerned about that as I get older. And thank you to Bloom Effects here for sending this over. I can't open it. Oh, so it's like a lovely scrub. We have one more. But I picked this up because my sister, like I said, loved it and I knew it wasn't in stock, so I just gave her mine. And it's funny because right after that, it came back into stock and that's what I posted. It's the Westman Atelier Peau de Peche Liquid Super Loaded. And my mom also picked this up because, like I said, we had her put this all over her face and it looked really beautiful. So she has more dry skin than me, so I wouldn't do that, but it looked really pretty on hers and she likes that dewy look. Of all three shades, this is the one that keeps going out of stock. Let me see if it's still in stock. As of now, well, it's probably gonna be a little while till you see this, but it is in stock. Um, I would use it under the eyes as a highlighter. It's a really lovely multitasking hero type product. So we were gonna run some errands, but the weather's kind of turned, so we're changing our plan for the day. So I think I'll do a lot of cleaning. I think my husband is now. We're definitely gonna go out and eat, so I'll take you with us there, and then we'll watch this concealer as well. Okay, well, we did not get any of our errands done because the weather has been so just like windy and cold. We're just gonna go out and eat here. So let me just apply this one in the shade Tawny Nude. I think I'll put a gloss on there because it's a, it's a matte. Yeah, but I just wanted to show you the concealer. Maybe I'll add a touch more powder. Um, oh, and I have on here my Cardigan Jenny Kane, and then the sleeveless scoop neck dress, the gray one I had on in the previous vlog. Probably been about six hours or so. Yeah, wears really nice on this. So now we're headed to dinner, an early dinner. So we went to dinner and as you could see, we ordered our not typical food. So I had spaghetti meatballs. But apparently we were hungry because we ate all of it. I ate all of the spaghetti meatballs. My husband ate his whole dish and he had dessert. So that is very atypical for us. But I also haven't had that much to eat today. So I guess that makes up for it. I just powdered with a Jones Road powder and I applied a little bit more underneath. I have broken capillaries there, but it actually looks quite good. Now there is some slight, just slight creasing here, but nothing really bad. Nothing that looks dry. It just kind of um, gathered a little bit in creases, but not something that I couldn't fix just by going like that. Yeah, maybe I'll try another concealer tomorrow and then we'll see how it goes. But let me know how you want me to feature those concealers in a sit down video because right now I'm just collecting data, doing wear tests like this, and then I will see you tomorrow. I just do a quick little skin prep because I'm actually just gonna wear this makeup for a little bit. The ones that looked interesting to me were the Natasha Denona, so I wanna try that one on this side, and then I'm gonna do, going to finally try that sweater on and do a workout. And this video is gonna be really long because I just edited it. So this seems like it has like a stretchiness to it, which is nice for concealer, especially under the eye. This is in the shade again, P5. Nice texture on this one, the Natasha Denona. Well, let's try this, the Valentino. Uh, just, I think it's the wrong tone, but let's see. Maybe I could be wrong. You know what I noticed about the Natasha Denona side? Like my skin looks really nice over there, nice and smooth. Okay, this one's not bad. Actually, the shade of this, like the brightness of it, it's better. This is that Flight uh, lip product in their tinted lip balm in Alone. Let's do the same setting powder. We have the one from yesterday. Actually held quite nicely. We're gonna go in with this Merit. I know I'm working out, but I thought I'd just show you because sometimes just for a demo 
pretty, yeah. It's a very, oh, Vaquetta is the shade. Yeah, the texture looks better over here on Natasha Denona, but let's see how this plays out as I go through my morning at least. Okay, I am back after probably three and a half to four hours. I worked out for probably an hour and a half and then we did some meal prep. This Natasha Denona concealer is impressive. Very impressive. It did a nice job. That held up very, very nicely. You can see a little bit of the darkness through. I didn't really build it up. Valentino's nice as well, but I have to say, I think Natasha Denona outperformed that one. One thing I did notice about the Natasha Denona though is that here, I put it in the corner, it kind of got bunched up here versus the Valentino. I'm gonna take a shower and then we'll do some styling. I just did a quick get ready with me because I wanted to try out some new products and I wanted to revisit this Natasha Denona because it did so well. So this get ready with me will be in the beginning of the next video. So make sure to tune into that. These are the concealers that I picked up that I will be testing out in depth and then coming up with some recommendations, thoughts on them. So far I'm impressed with the next generation concealers we have here. These again are the top rated concealers I could find on Sephora right now that I really wanted to try. So an update on the product that I was talking about earlier in the video and then I talked about it again and I didn't name it because I thought it would be here. It's not here because I ordered it from the company that actually manufactures it and then they sent me a cancellation notice that my order was canceled because they had run out of stock. So I ordered two of them, one in one shade and one in the other. And I'll just tell you what it is now because you've made it to this far and they are already in the mail on the way to me. If you guessed correctly, the item is a Burberry Trench. I've been wanting one for years, as long as I can remember. And I thought, let me just get one this year. It will be one of those pieces that will live in my wardrobe forever. So I'm sorry it didn't arrive, but had the original order gone through, I would have had it by now. But it should arrive in a few days. But in that next video, you'll definitely get to see it. Oh yeah, but we need to try on this. It's like the Vanilla Girl trend that I've seen. So I'm going to be pairing that sweater that I picked up with mostly cream items. We'll take a lot of the items too that I already have. So if you have similar items to me, we can see how we can weave this in and get the outfits going into fall without having to buy a lot of new items. So here we've got those Neely Lotan pants that I love so much. They're a little bit different because they come out at the knees, as you can see, but I think it's such a fun, stylish line. And it's actually quite slimming, so I really like that, and they're so comfortable. So it's comfort with style and a little bit of tailoring, even though they're not slim fitting. So I love this, and so it's really easy to do that vanilla girl look when you have so many cream clothes to begin with, which I love. I love this. It's so fresh, and it's not dreary for the fall, which I also love, but it's warm enough, especially if you're in a warmer climate. I love this kind of outfit. And I have Stuart Weitzman mules. Now, if you're interested in these, these are not new. They're older but my sister mentioned that reformation has these in a very similar heel they have many colors including something like this and black and i just want to point those out in case you're interested I'll, of course i'll link it for you but that just reminded me how great a mule is especially in the fall so we've got here the um laura piana bag that i love also i'll try and see if i can find you something similar to this because it's such a great bag such a great size too so I'll see if I can find you something, but this is the Neely Loton pant with it. I love it. And if you have a loafer, like I love these loafers by Todd's and I featured some in the Nordstrom video when they had a sale, some similar ones. And actually once I broke these in, they're really comfortable. It's just the first couple wears, the leather was not that soft, but now they're super comfortable. So you could also wear a nice loafer. Love cream loafers as well going into the fall. So I thought I would show you with the shorts as well because in this time where it's like warm and cool at the same time, I thought this worked nicely. I can still get use out of these shorts and it also take me into spring. So I also thought this could be interesting with a maxi skirt. So this is that Reformation maxi skirt that I got over the summer and then just pairing it with the mules again. And I don't mind mixing cream and white. I think it works nicely together. And then if you do want your creams to be more like matching, this is that strapless silk dress from Reformation. 
that I mentioned is really versatile and that's why I love it because I actually put a cardigan over it. I put that denim jacket over it. I love this dress. I think it's so great. They have other colors, but I just love the cream color so much. And these creams are very harmonious together. So I love that. I have a feeling I'll wear this one quite a bit because it's so comfortable and it still looks dressed up. I really like the mules because they elongate the leg because they're kind of my skin tone. So yeah, I definitely think I'm talking myself into this sweater. So I hope you enjoyed all of that styling, but that's it for today's video. So please take care of each other, stay well. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye, 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 bye.